Hi, we're with Ty Burkhart. She is the Director of Public Health for Buchanan County, and, and we'd like to hear some more about the uh, coronavirus. Ty. Good morning. So, coronavirus is in the news. Uh, we just heard last night that we have three positive cases, or presumptive cases, I should say, correct myself, um, in Johnson County. Currently, there is no um, public circulation of this virus in Iowa, so we are not concerned about people going about their normal business. But there are a few things that you can do to protect yourself against any kind of viruses, especially uh, influenza, common cold, norovirus, those things that circulate normally during this time of year. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, there is common strains of coronavirus. There's four common strains that most of us have probably been infected with and um, it, those symptoms are just mild symptoms like the common cold. However, there are three strains that we um, know are a little more severe, and one of those strains is this coronavirus, so we also call it COVID-19, you hear it being referred to, and that's just because this virus was identified in 2019. The other three strains that we worry about um, are, you've probably heard in the past, SARS and MERS. Uh, the message, however, on how to protect yourself is the same as it is for influenza. So we want you to cover your cough, clean your hands, and contain your germs. Um, so coughing into your sleeve, sneezing into your sleeve. How's that look? <laughs> yes, oh, sneezing into your sleeve. And making sure that you wash your hands, and washing surfaces is also important. Um, there's a lot of cleaners out there that are effective um, against the common strains of coronavirus, and we presume that those are effective against this novel or new strain of coronavirus as well. So um, those are all listed on the CDC website. If you're questioning whether your cleaner um, is covering or um, those germs, then uh, use the CDC website for that. Um, when you talk about washing your hands, it's uh, more about time than temperature? Right. So you don't need hot water to wash your hands. Um, it's the timing and soap. Um, so if you could wash your hands frequently and sing happy birthday twice, um, that's kind of what we teach our kids to do. And so if you can sing that in your head, not embarrass yourself, but um, that's, that's the best way. And you want to make sure that you're getting in between your fingers, under your fingernails. Um, for us who are wearing rings, we want to make sure that those are clean as well. Very good. Um, what else? So talking about being prepared for your home and school. Um, if this does spread and get worse, we want you to have a plan for your family uh, within your household. So uh, having those cleaning supplies, making sure that your children or your family have some contact information if they need it. Work in school, again, if it spreads, those uh, may be closed. So we need to make sure that you have a plan for childcare. Um, and um, then at home, again, the cleaning products are also important. Very good. So travel, um, currently we know that there's advisories um, out there for travel. The two travel areas that we're concerned about are China and Iran, and those may change um, as this progresses. But right now, if we have any tra travelers from those two countries, those um, individuals will be on home isolation, mandatory home isolation for 14 days. There are other countries of concern um, and those people, we ask that they're, they're self-isolated. And public health will follow up with those people. We check um, with them twice a day to make sure that their temperatures are normal um, and they're not having any problems or concerns. Which brings us to, if you do feel like you've had a risk factor and have some symptoms um, and need to be seen by a provider, we want you to call that provider prior to going into their office. Um, just to help us contain that um, germ and prevent spread within the office. Very good. And then uh, you mentioned you are in contact with Iowa Public uh, Health, and the public can get onto the same websites and information. Correct. Uh, by going to Iowa Department of Public Health. Yeah, so we have um, frequent webinars um, with Iowa Department of Public Health. Uh, Iowa Department of Public Health's website, you can come to this front page and COVID-19, if you click on this little link here, it will bring you to their website. And this is where you can see all of the case counts um, for here in Iowa. It also has 
different um, links about travel considerations, general information. There's specific information about businesses, schools, daycares. Uh, we try our very best to work closely with those entities to make sure that they're prepared as well. Um, and this changed quickly. So our best advice is to link to Iowa Department of Public Health website or calling the local public health department for more information. You can also call 211, which is a call center through United Way. If you have any questions, they are um, available to answer those questions as well. Well, very good. Well, thanks very much for uh, working with us and uh, have a good day. You too.